Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Binding of Isaac after the plus. Um, today, we're going to be doing another Samson run. Hopefully going into the dark room and maybe taking out Hush. Mega Satan, I kind of doubt it, but who knows? We might get lucky. So yesterday's run was really, really fun. Um, we got Epic Fetus on our first item. And then we got Sack Dagger, Placebo, and Power Pill, which just basically let us invincible through everything. We get Book of Revelations for our first item here. Which means we will be getting a lot of orbitals. Or, not specifically a lot of orbitals, but either Bandage Girl or Cuba Meat eventually. And I think that also means our first boss here is going to be a Horseman. So... Yeah. Luckily we aren't going to be needing Tinted Rocks, but some would be nice and like small rock. What we should be looking for. But it's not going to be the highest priority. And somehow this was the wrong way to go. I think I will use one bomb for one key here. Just so we have it for the next one in case we don't get another one. We do have a battery there for another soul heart. Which we are going to be able to use. So in the best case scenario we will be able to get three soul hearts. Provided I don't lose any. There's another bomb. I, uh, I kind of went up without looking what it was, and it was a bomb. So we still get at least get two soul hearts. And so long as we don't lose one soul heart per every six rooms, we should be able to get our double deal. Next floor, unless something really stupid happens. Which, this is Isaac, it can always happen. We do get either Bandage Grill here, or... Or ball bandages and or cuban meat. I'm just gonna help out a bit, but it's not a stat upgrade, which isn't always the best after the first floor. Should be done here. There we go. Okay. I remember it's champion. There's another soul heart and a cube of meat. No tinted rocks in here, and we'll just head on down. <laughs> so hopefully we get something good in the devil deal here. We did find our item room right away, which is nice. I don't really mind taking too much damage here, because we do get... Oh, there's small rock, like I said. That's nice. <laughs> and we get the wafer, too. That's going to be really nice later on, and that is probably one of the items I need for Hush. So, things are looking pretty good right now. Just got to get to Hush in time. Because we have HP generator... gonna be our biggest friend. And if we can get a level 3 or level 4 cube of meat before then, which we should be able to, everything's looking up. Surprise I didn't get hit there because I was not expecting the retaliation effect there. So all we're looking for really now is just a lot of damage. 
Tears rate's fine too, but... Uh, Temperance card, I guess we could use? This will increase our damage. And we get some money out of it. Um, I will do a full clear here. So we are at 13 damage thanks to uh, Bloody Lust. Or Lusty Blood, whichever one it is. Samson's starting item. Which is the max. And let's see if we get some health here. Double champion monster over here. Kinda glad we have 13 damage now, that was very close. And that was nice, easy, quick. We do get some hearts here, we get mom's underwear, great. And Spirit of the Night. Spectral Tears, Flight. Really nice to have. Gonna try it one more time here. And let's just blow it up. Funny. Alright, let's head on down. Surprisingly, the second floor was shorter than the uh, first floor. We do have Spectral Tears now, we have Flight, which is going to help a lot. Except when I do that. But thankfully we have Book of Revelations. Along with Book of Revelations, our damage will go up every time we take damage, so... It's not a really bad trade-off. There's our boss right away. Which I do want to find the item room before we face the boss. Come on, just die. We could go into our curse rooms too. Uh, anything interesting here? I'll do it for this. It's a little bit of extra damage, and now we get to know where our secret rooms will be, because a uh, howl will occur anytime we're in a room with a secret room entrance in it. These guys are taking a while. Get one more wave. It's another soul heart for us. We will be facing a horseman for the boss, so. Place your bets now, because my bet is going to be it's going to be war. Secret room in here. I'm gonna have to go in the other rooms though to find out where exactly it is. We get Abel, which I don't really want. There is another battery. I will take the sun card. The key, I'm gonna wait on the bomb. Okay, so since we heard the moon again, I'm gonna assume it's right here. Yep. And we get bomb bag too. That'll help out with our bomb situation. I guess I will take Abel. Just to have it. Not really good familiar, but. And, uh, super secret room right above us. We heard that howl again. Mm. 
we'll go to our item room first, and it's large. I'm comfortable with taking large just because we have light. And there's really nothing here that we want. I guess we'll donate. There's a tender rock in there. Not gonna respond to the fact that our donation machine just uh, crashed after two coins. Hmm. So I'm not worried about making it to boss rush at all. Since we did it yesterday, I do definitely want to make it to hush though. And it's pestilence. Not war. Second level cube of meat. We do get a devil deal here. Another red heart. And of course it's Krampus. Let's die. We do get lump of coal, which is nice. And I'm gonna head back, use the temperance machine some more, and get that battery. The good thing is we have Krampus out of the way. And bad thing... Hmm, nothing really much. I'll use that again. Let's use the temperance machine. Nice here. Get that tinted rock. And it really gives us our bomb back. Um. Yeah, I think I'll just head on down to the next floor then. So you know we got like what six items this floor. Wasn't really too great. Um One damage upgrade. I guess Lump of Coal is also a damage upgrade, but not a stat sheet upgrade. And let's continue on here. Seeker room to the right. Get her open up here, thank you. All right, two keys, don't mind if I do. And we get tough love. <laughs> cool. I don't know where that came from. That's fine. Not fine that he's not dying, but okay. Get one pill there. And it's a greed fight. We have some money, and of course it's a greed fight. We found our shop, we found our item room, now just the boss. We're at 42 cents, so hopefully a shop gives us something this time. I am going to blow up the keeper here. For the devil deal chance, I was hoping it would drop a nickel there. The keepers with the money for eyes have a higher chance of dropping money. Usually a nickel. And yeah, I guess we can go in our 
First room here. Just a whole bunch of soul hearts. All right. Worth it for the damage upgrade. We get full health again. Or not really, since we do have red hearts missing, but those red hearts do not matter. Um, we couldn't go into the arcade. Uh, secret room here will be the super secret room. And then there's a tented rock. Where are you? I'm gonna guess the super secret rooms right there. We'll take Ace of Spades. And Dark Bomb if you are in the double deal. I guess we really don't need that, do we? And there's our boss. After a very, very long room. Floor. Not room. More bombs. And it's a fallen, so we will be getting a double deal item here. Which will be very nice. Okay. That or ridiculous. Yeah, it's just. Sure, you can come along for the ride. And yeah, let's just head on down. No reason to stick around. Depths one at 15 minutes, not great, but like I said before, boss rush is not a priority in this run. Hush will be. Especially with the wafer. I do want to get rid of some of these red hearts though. See if we can get to Polaroid. Invincibility for Hush. So we know our shop's good at least. And we get the coupon. Which we might come back for. It can potentially give us a free item in the shop. Stop doing that. Get the chariot card, which I will use a sun card now. Grab that. Get more bombs. Alright. Please have something good in the item room. Accidentally the bomb there. Half a heart. And we get attack point five, which is really nice here. And yeah, our shop and boss room are pretty much right there. The full card. Don't think we're gonna make it to boss rush, so I'm not gonna take the full card. And we get another sun card, wow. So I might just use the sun or the chariot card against this boss and just fight it with our orbital here. And grab the sun card from the mapping. No. Still not great. And it's war. Should have probably waited on using that. We do get our level 3 cube of mate. We do get another devil deal, which we've been getting a lot of those. And we get the marked and rotten baby, which I will take both happily. Really hoping for a tears up here soon, though. We know we don't necessarily need it. And yeah, I'll do one extra room here to get our Book of Revelations filled. Empress card, no. The sun card. Let's head on down to depths two.
Self-sacrifice room, nope. Curse of the Unknown, so we don't know how much health we got. I will do this room. Get ahead of the- oh god. Yep, that was gonna hit me. I don't really want to take the Eternal Heart here. Because we will be getting one more Devil Deal at least. Hopefully it's a decent Devil Deal with the item that we can take. And then we can get down to Polaroid Invincibility. Secret room right there. We can get a lot of Devil Deals actually. And looking at what we have now, we should be able to get max level cube of meats for Hush. Hush is the important one. There's our item room, thankfully. Came quick. I don't think we take Unicorn Stump here because we don't have an Orbital anymore. We have level 3 cube of meat. That would have been amazing yesterday though with Sack Dagger. I thought about it for a second like, no, we don't have the Orbital for it. These don't have Greed in there. Okay, we get Humbling Mundle. We we're max on Soul Hearts, so we know that. And I guess I just save the rest of the money for the Hush Shop. How far is Mom away? <laughs> Jeez. We know we're at max health, so we won't be using Book of Revelations here. And I'm gonna take my first guess at the bottom. I was wrong. To the side. And just black poop. Alright, let's get mom here. It'll be a very easy fight. Then we are going to the dark room here. Let's see what's in our double deal. We get Mom's knife and Guppy's head. I'm not going to take Guppy's head here. I don't want to spend too much health. But uh, yeah, we got Mom's knife for Hush. Gonna be really nice. And I'll be using the sun card on the womb too. Deciding? It is. Gonna be trying for magic mush here. Infested. Infested. Going. Was willing to do that because it was the same colored pill there. All right. So luckily, Tech Point Five still fires when we're charging up Mom's knife, so we do have that damage as well. Today should be a good hush fight. We don't. I just remember we don't won't have him. Inv Polaroid invincibility, as we have to take negative to get to the dark room. But we will have the Nemeronomicon effect every time we get hit. I mean, we're just gonna get batteries out for free, sure. Still the wrong way though. No tinted rocks there. Not that we really need them. So we should be getting our level 4 cube of meat on this floor. Unless it's something like Conquest. 
In which case, this game screwed me over on that. But a level 3 should still be decent. And this is probably going to be a full clear, isn't it? Really glad we have the wait for We got two clubs, duplicate our bombs, we got so hard here. We'll not be opening that, so we don't have a lot of keys here, and we need at least seven for Hush. I think I just heard the, uh, yeah, super sick rooms right here. And a little black poop. Great. Okay, it's death, so we will get our level three here. Or level four, keep it neat. We do get another devil deal, which we've been getting a ton of those. Yeah, it's just black powder. I would not be playing taking that, so. Full clear. Let's head on down. Use the sun card. Maybe? What time are we at? Oh, we're at 23. We don't need it. We don't need it. Get a perth throw room. I want that. It is worth it to use the sun card. Just for the Perth Rover in, in my opinion. Try for a magic mush again? Ah, of course not. So we have been rolling devil deals quite a bit this run, which has helped. Let's get mom's knife. Super secret room here. Bunch of pills. We have two of these. Puberty. Puberty. I guess we can take the rest. Luck up. And bombs are keys. So now we have shit tons of keys. More hearts. More hearts, and it lives. So level four cube of me can be helping out a lot here as well. And we get another devil deal, wow. Okay, here. So Guppy's hairball, no. Mob the Void, yes. I'll take Judas's shadow. Now go down in the void. We'll be taking these bombs and let's go on to hush. Yeah. So I took Judas's shadow as an insurance policy. Get goat head, kind of late, man, but get blood bag, which we could use a speed up. We'll take Mysterious Liquid, it's a pretty good item. Uh, nine volts, yes. I guess we'll take Nightlight. And a two of diamonds, which we can't use, all right. There's a... There's something in here. I heard the barking. There it is. I'd rather have cards. So yeah, I'm gonna take Virgo here. And I'm actually gonna use the Perthro here. Not great, but okay. Two of spades. 
And let's go face Solohashi. Kinda wish I took a bow. Love lag now. Okay. And here it really starts. So Nightlight's gonna slow down these shots here. Hearts. And I still get hit by one of those. Alright. Not in any danger at all. Here. Okay. Still no soul hearts there, okay. Good like okay there's black heart. Okay, thanks a lot. And there's Hush. Get Blind Rage unlocked. And yeah, let's head on down. <laughs> Very good run so far. pills book of revelations keeping us afloat you have a secret room here it is this side and it's just a nickel which we don't need Find our boss room. Satan, you can't hide from me forever. Sure, that's something that happens. That was pretty close. I would love to bomb this place, see how many soul hearts we could get, but we definitely do not need it. And there's our boss room. And a lot more money, which we do not need. So let's go say hi to Satan. me as much as you want, so you're not going to get anywhere. Alright, let's go say hi to the dark room now. Doing very well here. 
And it's Curse of the Unknown. I would like a speed up. Have not gotten one of those. Should have probably taken the blood bag for that, but hindsight is always 2020. Get that thing out of the way. And we're pretty much just looking for the land here. Yes, it is. All right. <laughs> and we get Pyro. Uh, that's just funny. He's not following me like that. I don't want a stalker. I don't know how much help we have. I'll just use that when we need to. And this might take a minute. Virgo coming in there. Uh, I should not have entered this room. Super secret room right here. Sure, that's useful now. And there's the lamb. No worries. We'll finish the run. Unlock what we need to. And that's just the way it be. Very successful run. Wow, the easiest to take out first since we had that toxic. Him. And no, no delirium, unfortunately. I would have fought him, but. Very successful run. Unlock Samson's lock. And I believe all he has left now is greed and Mega Satan. We're feeling out pretty good. The lost, I don't really want to do Lilith. I don't really want to do. Could do some more Forgotten. Uh, Maggie still needs to go to Satan in Dark Room. And Blue Baby still needs Boss Rush, Satan in Dark Room. So that'll be the end of today's episode. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow.